Hi children, here we are again with our chapter magnetic effect of electric current. Let's see the next topic now. Today, let us learn in detail about a bar magnet and a solenoid. The first thing what we will learn is the magnetic field lines of a bar magnet and a solenoid. Then secondly, the difference between a bar magnet and a solenoid. So let's start. Children, you have all seen a bar magnet in the physics lab. Here there is a figure on the right side, a bar magnet. So let's see what a bar magnet actually is. A bar magnet is a rectangular piece of object made up of iron, steel, or any other ferromagnetic substance or ferromagnetic composite having permanent magnetic properties. Bar magnet has permanent magnetic properties. The bar magnet, the magnet has two poles. You all know that, that is a north pole and a south pole. And what are the properties of bar magnet? It is attractive property. The first one is attractive property. That means a magnet attracts ferromagnetic materials like iron, cobalt, and nickel. The second property is a repulsive property. Like magnetic poles ripple each other and unlike magnetic poles attract each other. When two poles, the same poles south and south comes together, it always ripples. Or if the two poles north and north comes together, they ripple. The next one is the directive property. A freely suspended magnet always points in a north-south direction. We all know that, right? When you suspend a magnet into the, freely into the A, it always points to the north-south direction. So the main three properties are attractive property, repulsive property, and the directive property. Now let's see what is a solenoid. A solenoid is a type of electromagnet, the purpose of which is to generate a controlled magnetic field through a coil wound into a tightly packed helix. The solenoid simply works on the principle of electromagnetism. An electromagnet, what is an electromagnet? An electromagnet is an electrically induced magnet. As the name implies, it is a core of magnetic material such as iron, surrounded by a coil of wire through which an electric current is passed to magnetize the core. A solenoid is a cylindrical coil of wire acting as a magnet when carrying an electric current. Now, let's see the magnetic field lines to a solenoid and a bar magnet. The field lines inside the solenoid are in the form of parallel straight lines. If you see over here, children, you'll know that it is in the form of parallel straight lines. And what does this indicate? This indicates that the magnetic field is the same at all points inside the solenoid. Inside the solenoid, the magnetic field is the same at all points. The magnetic field follow the longitudinal path of the solenoid inside. So they must go in the opposite direction outside of the solenoid so that the lines can form a loop. Now when you see over here, you know that they are going, they are moving in the opposite direction so that they form a loop. Now let's see the magnetic field lines of a bar magnet. If small compasses are used to map the magnetic field around a bar magnet, they will point in the direction away from the north 
pole of the magnet towards the south pole of the magnet. Now, if you see the diagram, it will be very clear for you that they move from the north pole towards the south pole. Now, let's see the magnetic field lines when two like poles are brought closer. When two like poles, that is here we have north and north. Here two magnets, the north pole of both the magnets are brought closer. That means two like poles have come together over here, the north pole of both the magnets. Now, when you see the diagram, it's very clear for you that the like poles, when two like poles come closer to each other, it always ripple. They always ripple, right? So, like poles always ripple. So, the field lines between two like poles also diverge. Now, if you see over here, you'll see that the magnetic field lines are diverging away from each other. Now, let's see when the unlike poles come together. Here, we have a north pole and the south pole of the magnets brought together. Now, when two unlike poles come together, you already know that the unlike poles attract each other, right? When north pole and south poles come closer, they attract each other. So, the magnetic field lines between two unlike poles will always converge. Now, here, from here it's very clear that when two unlike poles of the magnets are brought closer, the magnetic field lines converge. Wow! With our each day, we are in the physics lab. Let us learn the differences between a bar magnet and a solenoid. Now let's see the differences between a bar magnet and a solenoid. That's all for today. Have a good day.